I also want to get another law enforcement perspective on this decision today. This was long awaited and people really were eager to hear what it would be. Jim Palmer is the executive director of the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. He joins us now. I want to go back to some of the words we heard in the news conference. The use of force was reasonable and lawful. I imagine as uh, somebody who lobbies for police officers, you would agree with that determination? I think so, but not, not on the basis of our lobbying efforts, on the basis of the facts that uh, came about as a, result, as a result of this independent investigation. I think uh, the DA uh, and uh, Noble Ray uh, definitively showed that the narrative uh, that has been widely disseminated uh, since last August uh, has been wholly inaccurate and false. Uh, Jacob Blake, uh, contrary to the initial reports, uh, was not a good Samaritan. He was attempting to unlawfully uh, uh, take a vehicle that was not his and, and take uh, remove children from a scene uh, that he was not lawfully entitled to. Uh, he did uh, have a weapon by his own admission, and in fact, he even resisted, uh, admitted resisting and, and struggling with officers. Um, so I think this case really should serve as a cautionary tale uh, to the dangers of what can happen when people render judgment without the benefit of uh, definitive information. Mr. Palmer, we did hear the DA talk extensively about the difficulty of police officers in dealing with domestic situations. Uh, can you tell us what is your perspective on that? And how difficult is it for you? Well, I think, you know, uh, officers will tell you that every, you know, domestic situation is awfully emotionally charged. And, uh, you know, it, it can uh, change uh, very quickly uh, to uh, and escalate. Uh, and frankly, this incident, I think, is a, a good exa example of that. Um, you know, the officers are, we expect them and we obligate them to make split second life and death decisions under great uh, stress and, and extraordinary scrutiny. Um, and it's clear in this case, I believe, as a result of the independent investigation that the officers in Kenosha acted appropriately within their training and within the confines of the law. Jim Palmer from the Wisconsin Professional Police Association. We appreciate your time. TMJ4 News at 5. We'll continue after this.